Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here with my um, design team project that I am doing for Doreen Rook um, from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, this Crystal and Pearls Kit Club. And this is a Sweet Indulgence Kit. And I've got all my stuff here and what I'm fixing to do is get started on it. And so I'm gonna do a little craft along with me um, with it. Anyway, um, she's got some great things here for me to work with, and I've already done a few things up, but uh, this is the idea that I'm, I'm going to do. Uh, I have, let me move this beautiful stuff out of the way. I have this file folder here. And let me show you. This is the file folder that I'm gonna be using. This is actually the mint green, the same color that she's using. And I had bought, purchased this quite a few months ago and have never used any of these. I got them this at a resale shop or something out with my mom. And um, so at first I was going to make just a journal using, you know, this right here. And I was going to make the journal like that. But this was a little bit bigger than my, my file folder here when I cut it in half. So I decided just to make this. I'm going to actually sew this in on this side. I've already put down strip here and glued it on there. And I'm going to do the same, si same thing to this side. But um, doing that, then, you know, I can open it up and this will be sewn on there. And this side will open up like that. So once I sew that on there, then you'll be able to use this, you know, all the, all the different things that she's put here and I'll be able to use both sides. So that is my plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew that on there and then I'm going to show you how I put this other side together. So I'll be right back. I don't want to do that on camera, okay? Okay, I got that sewed on. Um, was not too easy. Uh, I wish I'd have done it differently, but anyway, it did. I did get it just sewed on there. It is a little kind of wants to stick up some. So I will have to work on that. I'll have to come up with some plan to close this up to where it doesn't uh, stick up like that. I might have to put a magnet on it or a closure on the front. But that's something I'll work, work on later. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I put this together. And I am going to fast forward it through this. So I will be back after the I get through with this. Okay, I got that done, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue these on here. Um, this right here is actually a fold out that Doreen had made. It's like, these. What, this is the big envelope, and this is one of those uh, smaller legal size envelopes. I have taken and put in, put in this beautiful horse carousel picture in there from that, um, Authentic line I've got to go with this. It's kind of a circus thing. And then here's this one that I'm going to use in the, in here. I love the way she did this. It's so pretty. 
It's a great idea if you're looking for a layering to do like two envelopes. I mean, if, even if you don't have these bigger envelopes, a smaller one would be cute too to layer it like that. And see how she did that? She just took and folded the envelope over. So, um, great idea here. On this, she did layering on this. She just took several layers of paper, music paper, guest check, um, graphic paper, I think that's what you call that, uh, and just did some applique layering and stuff, and I'm gonna put that on the front here. So, let me get that glued down, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna fast forward again. So now I've got that on there. Um, my idea is to, I'm going to put this together and stick it here on the front of this guest check and I'm gonna get it underneath these appliques. This here, I'm gonna Mod Podge on this really pretty die cut that she sent me and this is actually a really pretty lady that's on vellum. Uh, I thought she, the colors really went, so I'm gonna actually put that on there. So let's do those right quick. While that's continue to dry and I love making ball folders I think this is one of the funnest projects to do if you haven't tried one uh, do it because they're easy to do um, they're not as complicated as a junk journal and if you're you know kind of new to doing this I think that's a good way to kind of get your feet wet so that is what I would that's my suggestion anyway this vellum it's kind of hard to work with uh, if you've not worked with vellum before I'm probably not even doing it the way most people would because um, I don't really even have the time do I know what I'm doing, but like I said, I didn't, this is not the, was not my plan to use this this way. I was wanting to use it, <clears throat> excuse me, um, as a transfer. I seen, I think her name is, oh gosh, I'm always terrible with names. I don't know if her name is Sophie, but she's the create, um, creative cafe girl and she was doing a thing on using, and she used onion paper. So I don't know, she, I thought she said vellum would work, but well, it didn't work for me, so. Where you could take and do this, and then it would transfer on there with, you have to use uh, clear gesso though, not Mod Podge. So, I see that I've gotten this a little bit too far over. So I'm gonna lift this up that's gonna bother me and reposition it and that's one thing good about this vellum you can play around with it a little bit it gives you that little bit of wiggle room there we go oh, it's perfect and she is going to dry and be gorgeous and be all that will you won't even see the glue once she dries. And you could take a, if you have one of those heat guns and, you know, let it dry real fast, but just be careful. But I'm just going to let her dry a little bit, and then I might do that. So let's set her over here, and let it 
let's do this other project here. I'm really trying to make, trying to make, to make my video so long and do the fast forwarding technique. I've not ever really done that before. I'm not that tech savvy. So I'm always kind of envious of people that have the really great videos and I'm like I'm struggling to get one together. But that's just part of the learning curve, you know? You just have to keep trying until you get it the way you want it. Okay, so I kind of put that on an angle and I absolutely love this paper right here. And I have to make sure I don't have it upside down. I think it's okay. Okay, so upside down. I have this on upside down. Music notes always throw me for a loop. I'm not musically inclined, so um, I, don't, I can't read music. And I never can figure, sometimes I have to like, okay, is that music note this way or that way or what way? I'm not for sure. I kind of wanted that on an angle, but it's kind of stuck, so we're, we're gonna leave it like that. All right, what I'm gonna do is kind of lift this up a little bit. And I'm hoping I can do it without it tearing too bad. Because I want to get it under there. And I always say, don't be afraid to try to, you know, if you if you want to work, do something just a tiny bit different than what you, you have. Don't be afraid to, to venture out and, and try to do it. So, uh, when you get these kits, you know, sometimes you can... You can change it up a little bit, you know? I always say make it your own. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to make it, you know, I'm gonna use what Doreen gave me and then I might change it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put this Fabrifix on this right here now that I pulled that up. Because I don't want that coming loose. But that, see, that's got a little carousel on there, that little, so darling. She gave me some really pretty scrapbook paper. And her stuff, I don't know where she finds her, her scrapbook paper, but it's always stuff that I never see. It's not stuff that you can find at Hobby Lobby and stuff usually. Um, so, you know, she really works hard to get these together and she does a great job on, being kind of different and unique. And she, her colors are always kind of, she loves the pinks and mint greens and the blues and stuff, but she, she keeps it all really light toned. So, um, you know, she's very consistent with what she likes to do there. Okay, on this right here, <clears throat> if I decided to put this on here, I am going to, of course, uh, you know, put something on this. I will put some of that real pretty paper on that. So, but that's gonna be something I'm gonna do later. So let, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get inside here. I'm gonna open this up. And what we need to do now is we've got this we can work on, this beautiful notebook here that she, she's provided me with. And what I'm gonna do is start, you know, add some stuff in here. So, let's see here. I'm trying to decide where I want to put this. I always kind of like the playoff. I love this color right here. So, I'm going to put this down here. And this can be a pocket. So, where's my glue? And I can always put something on that background to kind of brighten it up a little bit. But just like I said before, oh my gosh, I wanna do something different here. Let's do this. Let's see, I need something that's gonna look good with that. Something that's gonna play off this plaid. I can put under there. 
Hmm. All right, I'll be so right back. I have this pink envelope here, and it really matches that plaid. So what I'm going to do is put this down and put it down like this. And let's see. Is that what I want to do? I'm going to put this down here. Okay, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it down like this. That way I can have a pocket back here and a pocket in the front. So let's do that. And I hope that all of y'all are staying well and safe during this quarantine time. We'll be, everybody's staying at home and you know, trying to find things to do, and um, I'm an introvert person, so I tend to do well with this because I enjoy staying at home. I, I like being by myself, and um, it doesn't bother me in one bit, but there's people that really enjoy, you know, want to be, my, my daughter, she is a people person, and so thank God she's being able to work because um, she would not be a happy camper. And my, and my granddaughter asked, Mom, she's six, when is this virus going to be over? She's like wanting to go see her friends. She is not liking this at all either. So they, you know, the kids are, are struggling, you know, some of them. And then my grandsons, they're loving it. They are loving it. They're saying, whoo, school's out. So, let's see here. That is going to be pretty. And then I can do this. You know, this can be a pocket. And then this can be a pocket. So, I doubled up on that. And I'm going to put something up here. You know, I'll have to decorate that up. So, let's see. That's a pocket there that she created. So, that's going to be some place to put something. These are some little pockets that she, corner pockets that she did, which are just gorgeous. I love them. And so I'm going to have to come up with some stuff to go on there. I made this up. I thought it was really cute, but that's not going to look good that because of the color. But this is a card that I had taken and um, embossed. So that would be pretty in there. And to, you know, take and put something cute on there. Let me see, what do we have here? I really, really like this too. That could be put there and you can stick it like that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. But I have been so busy and I've been enjoying watching videos and, you know, going on FaceTime and, I mean, Facebook and, and looking at all the really pretty things that people um, have been doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this uh, on here. Um, I might can do this with my sewing machine. So... I'll be okay. right back. Let me show you what I'm going to finish up doing here. I've decided um, I have this window envelope, so I added this really pretty uh, paper in here, that scrap of paper that she had sent, so I cut a small piece there. I love it. It's so pretty. And I'm going to make a flip over here with it. So let's go ahead and glue that down on these... Um, Uh, file folders the big deal is to do the flip so you could put as many in there as you want or you know don't have to put not any it's just totally up to you how you want to do it so they're just fun I think they just add a fun little element to it and um, it's kind of like being a little kid you enjoy flipping everything so 
I think it's just really fun. I love them. One of my favorite things. So, let's see if I can get that down good. And if that flips it over like that, and what I'm, I might end up having to do is actually glue um, this right here on this other piece of piece of scrap of paper just to make it not be flopping around in there. Okay, so my next uh, thing is I'm gonna put these are some pieces of file folder that I had that I already tea dyed. So I'm gonna actually make some flips with them. So um, I need to make sure, let me move this out of the way. Yeah, make sure that that's, these are on the right clips. Yes, no. This one goes over here. One of them's a little, a little bit different than the other. This one will go here, and this one will go here. Okay, I'm in frame. Okay, so the deal is, is you want to either glue it down to that or glue it to the inside piece, and I'm gonna glue it to the inside piece, so. Put some glue here, and glue on the back side of this. This stick glue that I have here is really a good stick glue. Uh, it's called Scotch Create. I get it from Amazon. Um, if you are looking for a really good uh, glue, this is for if you like if you want to use stick glue this is a good stick glue to try to you know use okay yeah that looks good i think that'll work right there okay make sure you got it straight and then what we'll do is we'll just glue it on there Something is not right. What did I do wrong? Okay. Okay. I can't I can't glue both sides down. Ah! Okay, do I want to glue it on like that? No, it has to be here. You can only glue one side down. Okay. So don't make the mistake like I did and glue all of it down. All right, we're going to do this side. Only this side. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm going to glue it to that and that. There we go. I want to make sure these are even. to glue it to this piece here. And this glue, like I said, it really sticks good. So, when I order it from Amazon, I usually get, I think three or four come in the pack. But I love it. Okay, so I got that glued down. This side just tends to not want to be ugly. It just wants to be ugly. Wanting to stick stick on that one side. Just like I put 
glue on here. Top that off. Get that glue off of there. Okay. So we got that down. And I got that glued on there. There we go. And that right there, yes, I'm going to cover that up. So for sure. All right. I want to show you what I'm going to do over here. Not sure that's going to be. This was a, um, a paper bag that she put on there, and she added this pocket up here. So I'm going to take and. Okay, I'm back. I thought my video had turned off, but it's still going, I think. Anyway, okay. What I'm going to do is this is a paper bag that she had on here. I'm going to actually fold it up. And I'm going to make a pocket out of it um, because I like this to show. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's see here. I could fold it this way, you know, too. So either way would be all right. Let's see. Let's do it like that. That makes it kind of have a little bit of prettiness. There we go. So let's get some glue. Glue this down and I'm going to make this to where it has a pocket and you can actually have Okay, that's going to be perfect. And I'm going to, you know, add some pretty, I hope y'all, I hope I'm in frame, add some pretty um, scrapbook paper down here or something to kind of, you know, I'm going to do something to it down here. She even did these, which were really pretty. She, she zigzagged some um, and ruffled some music paper and stuff. So I could put that on there, you know. So I might do that, and but let's let that dry first, and then we'll come back to that. Okay, on this one here, I decided um, I put these little cards in here that come with that authentic um, line that I had gotten. But I'm she sent these really beautiful paper doilies, so I'm actually going to put this one here, and then she had sent these some beautiful uh, different textures of you know laces and appliques and stuff so I'm gonna put that on top of it just because I want something kind of pretty up here you know not just plain and these doilies are gorgeous I don't know where she gets this from I comment on this every time but I love them they're they just look so vintage This I'm gonna actually use this um, glue here, the fiber bits, which I like it a little better than fiber tack just because it's a little bit more it comes out better. Fiber tack's thick. This one's a little bit thinner. So it's kind of Good to use it. Um, I, I like it. All right, I need something under here, like an eyelash trim or something. Let me see. Do you want? The, um, I need white eyelash trim. White eyelash trim. Of course, I have come out. Let's see. Where is my white? like to be prepared, but it seems like I never am tr truly prepared. 
Okay. Here is some white. Nice trim. And I'll put that under there. And then I've got another little idea I want to do too. She, uh, I'm brown. She sent a bag of, like, I call them jewels, but they're different things like, uh, you know, sequins and pearls and stuff like that. Uh, if I can find what I did with it. Here they are. Oh my goodness. They're all coming out. Anyway, all these right here is in, in the bag too. I've just gorgeous sequins and stuff. So let me get something to put that in. Oh, a lid will be fine. I think you need a lid because if I don't, then I'm going to be spilling them everywhere. really pretty to also if you're making dangles or just adding you know a little bit of bling to something they're so pretty to use like she did here you know and then you can just kind of add something on there you know or if you're into sewing you can actually take and you know all these sequins and stuff they have holes in them so you can take and sew them you know use them to sew with so But I'm actually going to um, try to find a little pearl to go in the middle. I think with the sequins. Okay, let's do that. Let's see. Can get my fingers to work. Ah, get off of my hand. Okay. going to stick this sequence on there and then I'm going to put this little pearl in the middle hey come on come on come on I need my little stick that's supposed to help me to do this there we go see isn't that pretty and then, you know, I thought about even taking and putting some other stuff around this, you know, if you wanted to kind of like, oh my gosh, that's cute. Those are cute. They look like little um, leaves. And they're kind of iridescent looks, so they're really pretty. It's the, the light just plays off of them. So let's put a couple of those on there. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like that. Those maybe look like angel wings. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I wish I'd have put one of these underneath that. That would have been pretty. It's too late now. Okay. So I got that done, let's see. And here, let me set this out of the way before I spill it everywhere. Here, I am going to, I had this kind of lace, it's kind of a beigey color, and she had sent this beautiful applique. So I wanna kind of put these two together. And also, she sent this. And I'm gonna try to put, let me see here, what am I gonna do? I thought about seeing if I can get this to, I wish I'd have put this in here whenever I sewed all this in, cause that would have been pretty, you know, for like a writing page. But, 
You know, I can always just put it over here and decorate it up. That would be cute. I can do a, a, is it a zine or a zine? I don't know what those are called, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Those little booklets you can make out of an eight, um, eight and a half by 11. So let's put this here. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. All right, I'm gonna put that there. I just, I can't, I just love this. Just a tiny bit, not much. Let's see, here goes my camera for a little bit. There we go. And put that right on top of there. I just love these appliques. These are so pretty. really pretty and I'm going to stick something in there but not yet Just go in here with some glue. This side, for some reason, wanted to be kind of ugly. I'm still wanting to stick over here on that side. This side's good. Okay. I am going to put this down here. And this is another uh, pretty piece of lace that she had given me. And I think I'm going to actually sew these two together. And uh, she sent this too. I absolutely love this. She embossed this and it's gorgeous. And she made a pocket out of it. And all it is is an envelope, okay? Um, so that's an idea. You know, if you have those big envelopes, you can't use them in journals sometimes. Um, or you have a cutoff. You can take and do that to it. And then this is my next thing I'm going to do too. I have this cute card and I'm going to put that on there because it reminds me of a candy cane. And then this it says sweet fluffy cotton candy. And then I'll make a cute little card. So anyway, this is where I'm going to stop because I, I don't know if I'm going to film anymore. I think what I'm going to do is I want this to kind of finish this up and be a surprise because um, I don't want my, my videos to get too long. So I'm not for sure if I'm going to do any more videos to this. I might do a second video, um, but for now, I'm going to stop here and that way this video won't be so extremely long. And I thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all stay tuned uh, because I'll either have my finished product or I'll do one more video, and um, hopefully I'll have this finished in the next few days. So.